Hello and here we are to a new step-by-step -step tutorial on how to crochet these big bubble sleeves that are so in right now. I will post a second tutorial as a continuation of this tutorial in a couple of days where I show you how I made the rest of the cardigan so you can make one for yourself. I was inspired heavily by these two beauties as you can see, so let's jump right into it. For this cardigan I have used Simply Chunky 100% acrylic from Paint Box Yarns and a 7mm hook. I started by crocheting 6 chains. To start the sleeves, first I will crochet the ribbing part which is some kind of a cuff. Then for the first row I skipped the first chain and inserted the hook at the second chain from the hook and crocheted a slip stitch. I continued crocheting slip stitch on each chain to the end of the row. In total, 5 slip stitches. And then on top of the ribbing cuff, I will crochet in rounds the rest of the pattern. But more details later on that. Then for the second row, 1 chain, turn my work, I skipped the chain stitch that I made and I inserted the hook on the next stitch but in back loop as shown. So I inserted the hook at the back loop of the second stitch and slip stitch. I continued crocheting one slip stitch back loop to the end of the row. In total 5 stitches. For the third row again one chain, turn my work, skip the first chain, inserted the hook on back loop of the next stitch and I crocheted one slip stitch. I continued to the end of the row, one slip stitch on each stitch. In total five stitches. This is how my work looked like. Then I continued forth and back repeating this pattern. until I had 15 ribbing patterns in total. The ribbing pattern is that horizontal V, so I crocheted 15 of them. Approximately 14 cm or 5.5 inch. Then I folded the cuff with two ends meeting and I crocheted them by working on the row where the chain row was made. So I made sure to attach all 5 chains with the 5 stitches of the last row. So I inserted the hook, which already has a loop on it from the last slip stitch, into the first chain of the other side, yarned over and pulled through the two loops. Crocheting like this a single crochet. Then again I inserted the hook at the second stitch and the second chain of the chain row. Yarned over, pulled a loop, then yarned over again and closed the last two loops on the hook. I continued attaching with single crochet all the stitches one by one to the end of the row. And all the stitches were attached with the corresponding chain on the other end. This is the wrong side and if you turn inside out, there you have the right side. 
Turn your work inside out and crochet 3 chain stitches. Now we work in rounds on top of the cuff. The pattern for the first round is 1 front post double crochet at the first ribbing. Then, in between the two front ribbings, we have a space that if you turn at the back, it actually is a ribbing. So I will work a back post double crochet on that ribbing at the back. The needle shows exactly where to insert the hook. So the pattern continues, one back post double crochet. The front post double crochet are crocheted at the front ribbing and the back post double crochet stitches at the back ribbing of the cuff. Next, I crocheted a front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from one side to the other of the front ribbing, pull a loop through, then I close the loops two by two. Same as in a double crochet stitch. Next, I found the next back ribbing and I crocheted one back post double crochet. I continued crocheting front post double crochet at the front ribbing and back post double crochet at the back ribbing all around the cuff. In total for the first round I had 30 stitches, from which 15 are front post double crochet, 14 back post double crochet and 3 chain stitches at the beginning of the round. Then to close the first round, I found the third chain at the beginning of the round and I made a slip stitch, closing the first round and moving on to the second round. I crocheted again 3 chain stitches, which we will do for each round to the end of the sleeve. Then 1 front post double crochet and 1 back post double crochet. At the third stitch, which was a front post double crochet, on the previous round I crocheted 7 front post double crochet. This is the beginning of the bauble pattern. Once the 7th front post double crochet increases are made, I found the next stitch, which was a back post double crochet on the previous round. It usually hides behind the puffiness of the 7 increases, so you have to find it at the back and I crocheted it again as a back post double crochet. Then one front post double crochet. This is how one section looks like. Then I continued repeating this pattern to the end. So next one back post double crochet, seven front post double crochet,
one back post double crochet one front post double crochet I continued repeating the pattern to the end of the round Arriving at the end of the round, I had 7 bubbles and the pattern ended with one front post double crochet stitch at the end. Then to close the round, I found the third chain stitch and I made a slip stitch. For the third round again, 3 chain stitches, 1 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet, 1 then 1 front post double crochet on each 7 stitches of the bubble. This will give even more puffiness to the bubble. Then one back post double crochet and one front post double crochet. This is how one section of the third round pattern looks like. Then I continued repeating the same pattern of the first section again. I continued repeating the pattern 1 back post double crochet, 7 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet, 1 front post double crochet to the end of the round. The third round ends with a front post double crochet as you can see. Then to close the round I made a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch of the round. Now for the pattern of the 4th round, we repeat the pattern of the 3rd round. 3 chains, 1 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet, 7 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet. Repeat this pattern to the end of the round 4. Remember to finish the last 5 stitches of 4th round with a front post double crochet and a slip stitch at 3rd chain of the 1st stitch of the round. For the 5th round 3 chains, 1 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet, Then yarn over, insert the hook at the next stitch for a front post double crochet, pull a loop, yarn over again and close two loops but then leave the last two loops on the hook. Yarn over again and pull a loop from the side at the front of the next stitch. Close two loops and leave three loops on the hook. Keep yarn over, pull a loop and close two loops for all the seven stitches. At the end, you will have 8 loops on the hook. Then 
Then yarn over and pull a loop through all the 8 loops on the hook. And at last crochet one single crochet. Find the next stitch which usually is hidden at the back and crochet one back post double crochet and then one front post double crochet. This is a full section pattern which will give us the full bubble. Keep repeating this sections pattern to the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch. I had 7 bubbles at the end of the first bubble row. I started the second bubble row crocheting 3 chains. In this bubble row, I will increase with one bubble, which means I will have 8 bubbles at the end of it. After the 3 chain stitches, I continued crocheting 1 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet. Then where I had the bubble, I crocheted 1 front post double crochet, inserting the hook on both sides spaces as shown. Then I continued one back post double crochet, one front post double crochet. I kept crocheting one back post double crochet where I had previously back post double crochet stitch, one front post double crochet where I had previously front post double crochet stitch, and one front post double crochet where I had the bubble stitch on the previous round. I continued crocheting this pattern until I arrived at the last front post double crochet stitch. On this stitch I actually crocheted 3 double crochet stitches. This is where we will add one more bubble for this second bubble row. Then I close the round with a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch. For the second round I crocheted 3 chain stitches, then at the first front post double crochet I will crochet 7 front post double crochet in that stitch. This is where the bubble is happening. Then I found the next stitch which is hidden at the back and I crocheted one back post double crochet. Then one front post double crochet and again one back post double crochet. Where I have the vertical line of front post double crochet stitch, I will do the increase with 7 front post double crochet stitches in that stitch. This is where the bubble will be for this second bubble round. Again at the back, one back post double crochet and then one front post double crochet.
This is how my work looked like when I had the pattern repeated two times. Keep repeating the pattern of one section until you arrive at the last back pose double crochet stitch. The three double crochet stitches that we increased in the previous round will be worked with the pattern 7 from pose double crochet in one stitch, 1 back post double crochet and 1 front post double crochet as last stitch of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch. For the third round, again, 3 chain stitches one front post double crochet on the next 7 stitches one back post double crochet one front post double crochet this is one bubble section pattern continue repeating one back post double crochet one front post double crochet on next seven stitches one back post double crochet one front post double crochet to the end of the round At the end of the round, insert the hook at 3rd chain and slip stitch. To start the 4th round, 3 chain stitches and repeat the same pattern of the 3rd round, 7 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet, 1 front post double crochet. And so on until the end of the round. the round ended with a front post double crochet stitch and to close it I did a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch of the round. For the fifth round, which is the closing round for the bubble, I crocheted three chains then I yarned over front post double crochet on the first stitch but I left the last two loops on the hook and I continued crocheting front post double crochet on each stitch but leaving the last stitch always on the hook until I had eight loops on the hook. Then I closed all 8 of them with a yarn over and a chain stitch. Then one back post double crochet. One front post double crochet. 
one back post double crochet and seven front post double crochet for the bubble stitches leaving the last loop on the hook and closing them all together with the yarn over and the chain stitch at the end To finish up the pattern for one bubble, I crocheted one back post double crochet and one front post double crochet and repeated this pattern to the end of the round, ending with a front post double crochet stitch. And I closed up the round with a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch. This is how my work looked like once I finished the second bubble row. At the second bubble row I had 8 bubbles instead of 7 from the previous row. Now I will start the third bubble row repeating the same pattern of the 5 rounds of the previous row. In this bubble row I will have again 8 bubbles even though I will add 3 double crochet at the last stitch of the round. So for this round I will crochet front post double crochet where I have the bubble and where I have front post double crochet on the previous round and back post double crochet where I have back post double crochet on the previous round. At the last stitch of this round I will crochet 3 double crochet stitches. And to close the round slip stitch at 3rd chain of the 1st stitch of the round. At the second round I will crochet 3 chain stitches, 1 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet and where I have the long front post double crochet line I will increase with 7 front post double crochet stitches. In this third bubble row the bubbles shift places in the middle of 2 previous bubbles. I continued repeating the pattern of one bubble to the end of the second round. Again, where I have the 3 double crochet stitches, I crocheted 7 front post double crochet in the first double crochet one back post double crochet in the second double crochet and one front post double crochet in the third double crochet. I 
I close the round with a slip stitch at the third chain of the first stitch of the round. I continued crocheting the rest of the third bubble row, repeating the pattern of the previous row, until I had a full bubble row which has 8 bubbles. I continued crocheting the full sleeve, repeating the pattern of the second and third bubble row, until I had 7 bubble rows in total. The quantity of bubbles per each row is as shown. To close the sleeve, I just made one more chain, pulled some yarn and cut it. Made two of them for both arms. Don't forget to get the full rhythm pattern at my website and check out the rest of the tutorial where I show you how to crochet the bodies of the cardigan and all the little details to put it all together. See you there! Tschüss!